Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Raise your hand if sometimes you wake up in the morning and you wish you could have the best smoky eye of your life, but you just don't want to spend a half an hour. Raise your hand in the comment section. I know there's an emoji for that, I think, or there's like the this girl, she's my fave. So today I'm gonna break down your lazy guide to the perfect smoky eye in five minutes and there are no brushes necessary for this look. You are just gonna be using your fingertips. This is such a throwback for me because this is literally how I would get ready in the morning at 5.30 a.m. before I had to grab the bus and go downtown to sell makeup at Nordstrom and I just did not have the time and it was cold outside and I just, I wanted to wear makeup and be pretty but I was so tired that I would hit that snooze button and I think we've all been there. So I'm gonna teach you all my tricks and we are going to hop right in. Okay, first things first, I am gonna go in with a shadow stick. Now you could use a cream shadow in a little jar if you wanted to. I would suggest using something that is more of an actual cream base than shimmer base. So in my head, I'm like something a little thicker, not necessarily color pop, not necessarily something that has a metallic finish. That's why I personally like these shadow sticks. This one that I have on hand, don't scream you guys, I know, forgive me. It is the only one I have right now that is matte. I used to do my eye makeup like this all the time and I would use different options, which I'm gonna list in the description box below. But the one I'm using today is by by Terry and this is very expensive but this is the black star shadow stick it is really really good if you want to invest in something like this that smudges out really nicely this is a really nice one but there are plenty of options so don't feel like you are limited to just this. I mean, we've all seen a deep espresso rich brown like this before. So, you know, I just don't want you to feel like, oh my gosh, I don't have like the biggest budget in the world. And that means you can't do this look. You absolutely can. There are options at the drugstore. Okay, so what I'm doing first is I'm just gonna go and very messily, I mean, this is this does not look cute. I'm just gonna go and color this on the lid. Now I'm not gonna get up to the crease cause I'm gonna be blending up there with my fingertips. I'm gonna go pretty close to the inner corner. All right, so I'm gonna take my middle finger and I am going to kind of almost pat and pull away in and pull down. So if you see, I'm going up a little bit above where the color is and I'm pulling it down, but it's smudging that edge out. Now this is your eye and you don't wanna create a ton of wrinkles. So be as gentle as you can use more of that dabbing patting motion than pulling, but you are gently pulling in and it creates a nice kind of a smoked out effect. And then once I have it kind of smudged out, I will then take the finger right next door, my ring finger, and that one does not have any product on it at all. And I will continue doing the same thing until I have it kind of smoked out the way I want it to be. Like that. Oh, it's noisy outside. Now I did get a little bit underneath, that happens sometimes. Just take your pinky and kind of pull it upward. I'm gonna be smoking out the lower lash line anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You can be kind of messy with this look and that's what makes it so fast. Now I'm gonna take this from Maybelline. This is a color tattoo. This is the shade Creamy Chocolate and I'm gonna go over everything that we just put down up to the crease again. And this is gonna further lock things in, but also brighten and lighten things up just a little bit. All right, so I have a pretty good base down. Now you don't have to do this. You can take an even lighter shade. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like layered on top because I'm going to end up using more of a copper shade, but just to show you as an option, this is more of a bronzy lighter shade. This is from Marc Jacobs. Now I can put this right in the center, kind of pat it in, and you can see that brings like a whole level of light to the center of the eyes. It makes it not so harsh where it just looks like this flat one color on the lid, which is something that I don't wanna call a mistake. You know, you do you, do your makeup how you want, but if you want it to look a little bit softer, this is the better way to go. The other bonus of using creams like this and layering them on is this is not going to move until I wash it off at the end of the day. It's gonna look exactly like this from morning till night and it is not gonna lose color or have any flaking or fallout, which is such a huge win. You don't have to even think about your eyeshadow at all. So now we're gonna move in to this guy right here. This is Touch and Soul. This is the Metalist Liquid Foil. Now this is just because I created this look the other day and I was like, this is the pretty 
prettiest combo ever that I am showing you this, but you would be welcome to, you know, throw on some liner, work on the lower lash line and call this right here a great smoky eye and be out the door. But something that I really like doing that I think is such an eye-catching look is foiling just the center portion of the lid with something that is really loud and really bright. So for me today, I'm gonna to use this guy because it is really loud and really bright. So I'm gonna focus just above my pupil, right on the center of the lid, and I'm putting down the first step, which is what gives the glitter something to grab to, and then pat it in. With this product, there does tend to be a little fallout, which kind of sucks, but you can just kind of brush it away or you could do this whole thing before you even do your face makeup. What I'm gonna do for my lower lash line is go back with the first product that we used from By Terry, and I am just going to drag this. I don't wanna drag it too low. I'm gonna focus kind of like I am lining my lower lash line. I'm going about 75% of the way in, and I'm working one eye at a time because you don't want this stuff to dry before you have a chance to blend it out. I am then taking my pinky and I am just smudging. I'm kind of doing that pull up kind of a thing. All right, the next thing I'm gonna to do to add a little bit of brightness to that lower lash line and to the inner corner is take something that is not champagne, it's not overly bright, it's not gonna match the lid, but it is a touch lighter than what we have here, and it has a little bit of a metallic finish. So this is from Jordana. This is the Made to Last Liquid Shadow in Dusk Till Bronze, and I am just going to place this right on the lower lash line right here and it is starting to come together. Okay, so now I'm going to line my waterline. I'm gonna take this $5 automatic pencil from Jane Cosmetics that is one of my very, very favorites. It's very rich in black pigment. It's great for the waterline, and I'm just going to pop that in there. And I'm also going to line the upper waterline as well. And if you feel like there is a need for a little bit of blending, this does take two seconds. You can take a crease brush. You don't have to. I mean, you could walk out the door with a little mascara on top of this and be totally good. But if you want to take it to that perfectionist level, you definitely can use powder products in with this. And I'm just going to very, very lightly go above where the end of that cream color is just on the outer edge, just to give a little bit of a transition there. I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs mascara. This is the Omega Lash, and I am just like re-obsessed with this mascara. It is so good. It thickens, it lengthens, it's fantastic. So I'm gonna go in and give a nice few coats of mascara because I'm not even going to apply false lashes. I think this kind of a look works without false lashes. I mean, you absolutely could add them on, but something about the smoky eyes, it's like smudgy, kind of rock and roll, a little more effortless, even though it is really intense. And I like the look of it without. So this is the completed look. And if I wasn't, you know, babbling about through every step, this is something that you can literally be like, Ch -ch, pat, 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 Ch -ch, pat, 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 you know, smoke the lower lash line, throw on a little mascara and boom, you are out the door. I have literally done this makeup on a bus. I'm not even joking. So if I can do it, you can do it. And I hope you guys try this look out. If you do, be sure to tag me on Instagram or Twitter. I would love to see any recreation of this look. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. I really hope this was helpful and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.